but we'll get straight into it. So let's say you have just played your grand final, your premiers, and now you're into your off-season mode. I would recommend having a minimum of two weeks where you absolutely have no structure, no expectations, um, both from a running perspective, but also from a strength and power point of view. The reason why that's so important is it's the furthest away from when you're about to play your next game, obviously. So we want to maximise the rejuvenation of that point of view, that recovery, um, so you can rejuvenate your um, joints. Um, we know that by having a long competitive season, some of you may have played over 20 games if you have played in finals uh, of Australian rules football. It's a long game, it's a long season, and it's a long pre-season. So we want to make sure that you actually get a couple of weeks off from a physical point of view for joint health, but also from a uh, mental point of view as well. It's really important not to constantly always have structure, but actually have a bit of time where you can um, recharge and refuel. Then when we move into more now getting back into routine, if you have taken those two weeks, just want to start light for the next two weeks. So typically if you follow like our online program, we'll start with two runs for two weeks and we'll start with two total body gym sessions. And that way the athletes don't need to be going straight from going zero structure to now four to five times a week. They can just simply get used to being active two days a week. Um, you might get, you might prefer to do your run in the morning and your lifting at night or vice versa. So, but you're just get making sure that you're banking those two quality sessions in um, per day for, for two sessions a week. Uh, reason that we want to go total body is because we get to hit all those key movement patterns um, as well as hit your whole body from the from the muscle group point of view, um, rather than lower body split where you're just overloading one area, like in a lower body session and then doing an upper body session, you're um, going to reduce the amount of frequency that you get from squatting, deadlifting and pressing. Then for the next sort of six to eight weeks is where we want to start going between three, depending on your goal, you might be building up to four runs a week if running is your key focus if more of the weight room putting on muscle mass and building your contest game by improving your strength and power is your focus then three to four weight sessions so we we individualize that depending on what your goals are and your area of focus and we want to start now getting the footballs back involved so for every field session where you're focusing on your speed your agility uh, your acceleration and your aerobic endurance have a component where you're bringing a mate down you're getting the football footy boots out uh, yes, in October, where you are practicing your football and you're kick, kicking your kicking loads up uh, you, and you're also keeping up your coordination. Um, so that's really important. Start to have, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. doesn't necessarily be, need to be drilled by a coach, but just having a bit of a kick around, focus on different areas of your game to keep your skills on point uh, over that period. Then we're moving to about four weeks before you start back with your pre-season. So for some of you, that might be late November. So early November is when we want to start to shift towards what's your 2K time trial uh, focus going to be for when you return, uh, making sure that you're doing some aerobic runs, some longer threshold-based running where your heart rate's high to get exposed to that. So you're going to come back in good shape and show the rest of your teammates and your coaches that you have been doing the work. Uh, we also want to make sure that you are starting to focus on some form of specific football drills to improve your kicking, both over long distances as well as short. Uh, it's very common uh, for anyone that does, hasn't done any kicking and then they get back to pre-season, they do three sessions a week of kicking, both punch kicks, long kicks, high volume, always coaches want to work on the kicking and suddenly you have a quad strain. So make sure that you are keep, keeping up your kicking loads over the off season. Um, you're keeping up your agility work and you're keeping up your high intensity running like sprinting acceleration. From there, we want to make sure you set a goal both for your conditioning, your strength and your football. So have some look back at that feedback that you got from your coach, your players, um, and, and also that you gave yourself and note down those three periods of your game that you're going to focus on when you start back at pre-season. So we'd love to get some uh, insight for any areas that that information helped you or if you have any follow-up questions, feel free to send them in, direct message me on any of our socials and I'll be happy to elaborate. But 